So really anything that kind of makes, I'm not really seeing anything that's like can be easily simplified here. Um, we want to apply our operations. Well, we basically have adding and subtracting and division that's going on. So what I would recommend if we're going to be combining these, because somehow we need to get this to just tangent time secant. So if I'm going to combine these, um, I'm kind of getting a little stuck. I'm not really sure what the best thing to do right now, to be honest with you. So what I would say is, again, if you get stuck, convert everything to sines and cosines. That just kind of helps me visualize a little bit on what's going on. There's a couple different ways we could do this. If you guys remember that complex fraction over there, one way we could do it is you could add the numerators, right? So therefore, then you'd have a fraction divided by a fraction, and then you could multiply by the reciprocal. We could do the same thing here. It's pretty easy to add the numerators. It's also not too bad to add the denominators. I just got to get common denominator here, right? So you could, could you combine terms in the numerator and the denominator here, right? You could do either or. <clears throat> or what did I what math did I show over there? Instead of combining them, I just decided to multiply everything by the common denominator. And that's what I'm going to do here first. So the common denominator of all of my denominators is cosine of x sine of x. So I'm going to multiply everything by cosine of x sine of x. What happens? That divides out. Those divide out. Um, sine of x's divide out. And therefore, I'm left with that. So now I have sine of x plus sine squared of x all over cosine squared of x plus cosine squared of x times sine of x. Right? Did everybody see? Anybody have any questions about that? OK, so now I'm going to factor. Let's just factor this out. So next thing is, I simplify this. Well, now I can apply some operations. I have sines that are common in the numerator, and I have cosines that are common in the denominator. So why don't I factor them out? Right? That's applying an operation. So in the numerator, I can factor out a sine of x. That gives me 1 plus sine of x. In the denominator, I can factor out a cosine squared. If I factor on a cosine squared of x, I'm left with a 1 plus sine of x. Those divide out. And now I'm left with a sine of x over cosine of x. Well, how the heck does sine of x divided by cosine of x equal tangent times secant of x? Well, that's squared, right? So one thing you guys can know or to write or look at, you guys agree with me that sine of x over cosine squared of x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x? You guys agree with me on that? Group those together. That's tangent of x times 1 over cosine of x, which is secant of x. So it is the identity. Okay. So, um, guys, I cannot stress to you enough 